Okay, we should be up and running with our intelligent yeah. design stream with our genetically modified update. Um, so, what are we going to do today? Well, I'm going to play a little bit of intelligent design, um, and Sean is going to try his best not to laugh at my fumbling scientific efforts, and uh, yeah. we're going to, more importantly, show off some of the new features uh, for the new update. So first things first, uh, those of you who know intelligent design um, will perhaps be intrigued by this additional map. Um, and in fact, Sean, didn't we change what these are called in the new update in anyway? Um, well, we areas? changed the wording. Yes, we changed mm -hmm. the wording. Um, that's sure. we were calling them like area, mm -hmm. like area one or two, which mm -hmm. um, is is like a bit different. Um, yeah, yeah, that's not quite as clear, I suppose, as um, you know, as map. Map is nice and simple. It makes it very clear what everything, what you can expect. So uh, I'm going to start a new game. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to put it. Don't worry about these games. Um, so here's the new control system, and um, that just kind of gives you a sense of what's going on. Right. So we're straight into the game. Um, I'm going to skip the tutorial. Is that fair? Yeah. But I, I think so. I mean, okay. you've kind of. Um, I think I'm getting. Echo yeah, no. <laughs> I just realised I'm hearing myself on on your own various speed. streams that I have open. <laughs> so I'm going to try yeah. and sort that out. Yeah. Um, okay. So yeah. I'm going to finish this tutorial. Um, new players, obviously, fully encouraged to work through this new tutorial system. Um, that's changed since the original uh, launch of the game. Uh, we we kind of responded to player feedback, and they just wanted a bit more of a a kind of a controllable tutorial experience. I think it's fair to say. So, yeah, I um, think so. You can now quickly end that if you're not interested. Um, you can also uh, still end that. I think in the have we changed that? Okay, yeah, you can't do that anymore. So um, you just click end tutorial, and that's that's done. Um, mm -hmm. But if you're a new player, fully encouraging you to uh, go and check that out. Okay, so this is intelligent design. For those of you who haven't seen it before, we are controlling a drone um, that kind of is flying through this map environment. Um, this is a new map uh, that Sean and I put into the game uh, for this new update. And as you can see, it's a bit snowy, a little bit icy. Um, but we are going to do our best as uh, bioengineers to turn this into a green and verdant landscape. Yeah, um, I'm just so I'm a bit quiet because I am looking for trying to get all of the um, the, the chats open so I can keep an eye on the chat. Okay. But is that thing working that we tried to do, Dave? Is that thing working? Yeah, you know the thing. <laughs> the, 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 <laughs> on your phone, you're, you're trying uh, to see all the chat. Okay, comments. yes, I'm looking at chat on my phone as well. And um, hard to say, hard to say. <laughs> it, it, doesn't, nice. uh, it doesn't seem to be working, put it that way. Um, okay. I don't seem to be seeing any chat. Um, it tells me it's ready to display messages. Don't worry too much. Okay, <laughs> I, won't, I won't worry too much. Sean is going to handle the chat. Okay, I'm going to try. So yeah. I'm going to yeah. play some some games. So the first thing we do in ID, um, as you can see, we are um, trying to do some key performance targets. They're kind of like our objectives um, for the game. That kind of uh, you don't have to do them. You don't have to follow them. But uh, I think inevitably most players will. Um, so I'm going to create species of plants, and then on my left here. Uh, so what are your three targets at the moment? So my three performance targets at the moment are create a species of plants, grow 10 wild plants, and build a research station. Okay. Right. So that's what I'm... I'm just going to turn my music down a little bit. There we go. Um, it's a bit windy in the ice planet. So uh, those are the three things I'm going to start off doing. But uh, obviously I know the game a little bit more. I've played it quite a bit. Um, so I know what I want to do, and this is how I do things, um, which is probably very different to how Sean does things in this game. It's just create some random plants to start with. Um, you can see uh, that whoo, some of those are going flying off all over the place, and some of them are um, 
sticking roughly where I wanted them to go. But yeah. this is I did say it was windy. It's windy on this ice planet. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna have to wait and see where they fall um, to decide where we're gonna build stuff. So the the radar tower here. This is what this is. The building that you start the game with. Um, that showed that big green circle that you can see there is showing you kind of the area in which you can build stuff. Okay, so to start with, that's 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 kind of your I can't build or even like spawn plants outside of that green circle. Um, so I mean, they can end up outside that green circle because of the wind. As you saw, the wind was blowing my seeds. They might be blown up out there. So that's that's one way to potentially get plants and other organisms outside of that green circle. But you can't build a building outside that circle. No. no. So, uh, Mike. So do you want to talk about like what's different in this map? Uh, sure. Yeah. Well. Well. Yeah. Um, what's different in this map? Well, there's tons of things that are different. First things. Uh, firstly, you'll notice these big crevasse or canyons, whichever way you want to call them. Um, they are something that hasn't appeared in a ID map to date. So we can go down through them as a drone, fly all the way through this fog get down to the bottom, scoot along the bottom, uh, and of course plants and uh, other organisms will fall down here, will end up down here, um, and create their own kind of mini ecosystems, I suppose, cut off from the top layer. Um, so that's quite a new new feature, um, and we've kind of played around with that. We've got this kind of hole here that, can, again, can you can kind of utilize to, to sp just s section off different kinds of organisms if you want if you want to do it that it way it is it's quite different to the other maps which were like almost like i guess big deserts but yeah not like the idea of having that big flat area as well is 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 quite a big change yeah uh, before it was very much like yeah it was like hills mm -hmm. like hill hills and and stuff was the uh was the was the vibe. Thing there. okay it is also fair to say it's a bit smaller than the other three maps and that was a, a you know that was deliberate on our part Just yeah so more. it's it, it's a good this is becoming now the default map yeah it's a like good it's start the, map. it's the yeah. it's the first map that you start with mm -hmm. so yeah what are your objectives so you build a so, research station yeah before you interrupted me i was ready to yeah. ready to ready to rock on this um so now it has changed because obviously i've um played uh, i've made it i've met one of my performance targets which was um make a, a random plant um, so as you can see at the top one there is build a research station um, research stations over here cost 750 biomass so if I try and do that biomass. it tells me I don't have enough my biomass is tracked along the top here so the way you get more biomass is the collector which as you can see is handily costed 500 biomass which is what it's almost like again. we planned it it's yeah it's, it's yeah it's, so I'm gonna pop this here um, and you can see from that circle before you've even made it, but also after you've made uh, kind of made your um, collector, how far it, it's going to collect things from. So, like, well, what's its range of collecting? So, some of these random plants that I spawned earlier are within the collector's range, and some of them aren't. Um, but if I was to build here, like for instance, then I would perhaps potentially destroy some plants as well, which is not not something I like doing. Um, so you can see, if I zoom in a bit, bit more, this collector is telling me it's getting 5.36 biomass per second. So that's why that number is starting to recover a little bit. Another interesting thing to note is that the collectors get more expensive as you go along. Um, so that's it's really just to encourage you to be as efficient as possible with how you place these and what you put around them and, and keep an eye on that because you want that's that something else we slightly tweaked with for this update uh -huh. is the way those prices increase um because we've got the time acceleration now it, it kind of changes the feel uh -huh. and the pace um so we kind of wanted to make that a bit different yeah and the um the the time acceleration i mean i haven't messed with it yet um is that it's down here let me come up with or so. um, and you can kind of increase time acceleration etc etc just just to kind of make the game go faster it's fairly obvious right um, and there are points in the game where that that makes sense for you to do uh, early on I, I don't think there's a lot of incentive to do that you want to be kind of 
getting a, a feel of how the game works, perhaps micromanaging a bit more than you might otherwise. Um, you know, once you've got your ecosystem set up, you might want to run through a few generations of things quite quickly. So, um, right, so we're kind of accumulating biomass here. I could make another collector, and perhaps I should. Um, that might be something to do, but because. Uh, That's an interesting way to. Yeah, it's, an, uh, it's an early decision, isn't it? I suppose the decision point in the game is do you want to go straight for your key performance targets or do you want to kind of really maximize resources here? Um, for the purposes of, of now, I'm going to kind of create a research station next. Um, so that's ticked over to 750, so let's pop that there. You know, there's an achievement in the game for doing all these targets in the first seven, ga seven days in the game. Nice. Okay, so yeah. Probably not going to, you know, no, get that. No, we've today. already gone through day one. Okay, well, there we go. Um, so, the research station, here we go, like the like the collector, has, it tells you what it's doing, um, and it, at the moment, is researching 0.15 plant science per second. Um, so that's pretty much because it's clipping that one uh, plant there. So that was probably not... How like none of your plants have landed in the area of the the research station but it's the radar right is that right if you zoom out is that what do you mean no they've have, they, all... have they some of them landed inside of the of the of the radar oh yeah no they have, they yeah, have. Yeah, yeah, yeah yeah you can't see them um some of them have landed outside so or or certainly spawned ah uh, okay yeah i see now yeah but um no that would have been a potential disaster if that happened yeah. <laughs> sure i wouldn't have been able to play um, or I would have had to spawn a lot more plants. That's, that's, that's what would have happened. Um, so that's slowly ticking up some science for me. And uh, so I go up to my science tab up the top here. Um, and I can see that um, I have um, some plant science ticking along here. It's going to um, unlock at 250. So, you know, at one point, was it zero, one point five per second? And I've got to get to 250. That's going to take a while. So I've got a couple of options. I can upgrade uh, the research station, but that's going to cost me 1,440, well, 1,440 for biomass. So I'm way off that at the moment. So the other option is to just start kind of increasing my chances of that by spawning some more random plants uh, around and hope, in fairness, that the wind will be kind and that they will spawn. Let's have a look. Uh, near my research station and you know live because you know they might just all hit the ground and die um, which is a possibility so that's a bit of a haphazard way of doing it um, it's uh, I, eventually I will want to upgrade this to increase my plant science anyway um, but here's hoping that some of them fall and they I don't think they have at all really I think they've missed the mark but I planted more plants. They're growing, you know. Yeah. Everything is yeah. everything is wonderful. Um, there like two in there now. Two. Right. Yes. Yes. Maybe. Maybe two. Um, so we're cracking on. Uh, I think that pace is a bit slow. Um, so I'm going to build another collector to give me a chance at uh, some. So I'll pop that there. Um, So I've grown a hundred wild plants. Okay, I did. So that key performance target popped up. Wasn't even something I was aware of. Just casually growing wild plants um, in in my ecosystem. Oh, did I spot a which fire? Which is on fire. Yes. Uh, so well spot Sean. Um, so here is uh, our plants on fire. Perhaps Sean, you want to explain uh, what that means? Um, it means they're burning. Uh, perhaps um. more in de in, in <laughs> detailed game sense because you can see them popping away, right? Um, yeah, so they they are, well, fires happen. It mm -hmm. is is the kind of general just there is is that it's um, they they will burn and die, and mm -hmm. that that changes the way. So like, the whole idea of this game is that these plants have all have unique genes, and every mm -hmm. plant is like unique, and so they will evolve to be like to hopefully become better over time. Um, mm -hmm. There's you know genetics are are modelled here. Um, and there's, there might be some genetic, some genes that affect how 
easy to fire mm -hmm. spreads. Mm -hmm. And how susceptible your plants are to fire? Yeah. Okay. Like we've changed that quite a bit actually. Um, because like we've made it so that now fires can kind of burn out before they kill your plants. So before we had there were lots of cases where you might have like this massive. Um, oh, it's making a break for it. Run, little plants. Get away from the fire. Do you think it will live, Sean? Um, I'm trying to make sense. Oh, I see it. I, I th I'm like six seconds behind you, I think. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So, uh, I think it's a goner. I mean, like, fire is just fire. Like it's, And we've changed the effect. I think it looks, looks more like fire. Yeah, I was finding it. So now, in the original build of ID, I was finding it very difficult to spot fire. A lot of the time I play ID from, like, quite far back and stuff. I just I was just missing it. Having said that, it's not like we don't give the player a fire extinguisher. It's not like I could have done a lot about it, but I, I think it works better now that you can spot it like as you're casually flying over your landscape and be like, yeah. "Oh crap, there's fire!" Um, and at least you're aware of it. Um, do you want to talk? Oh, actually, wait before we do that. Let me upgrade my research, my lonely research station that now is currently not, not really doing anything. So if I upgrade it here, I've got the biomass thanks to my second collector. I'm just going to upgrade that. So that then increases the distance that it is researching from. And as you can see now, I'm racking in 1.2 plant science. We are gonna be unlocking plant genes crazy soon, crazy soon. I mean, you could you could map that out if you wanted. It's probably- Are we gonna be like, like what, a, minute, what, a minute, maybe two. Can I take a look? Yes. What? I guess you are looking, and I'm just two seconds behind. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so I, we are cracking along at, you know, seventy, eight, nine, eighty plant science right now, looking for two fifty for our first plant unlock. Um, so that's all good. Um, what are my research, uh, my key performance targets? It's so interesting that you, that the way you've approached, like I've, I've, I've not watched you play this before, mm -hmm. but you've very much gone straight into the, I just want to do these targets. Yeah, well, I suppose because um, because I've seen the game a bit, like a new player might be more interested in kind of just enjoying the environment or seeing what they can see down here, and you know, I think I think probably m my experience is a bit, you know, can I spawn a plant here? Let's try it. See what happens, you know, when they when they fall down. Like I think a new player probably will have a bit more kind of sense of exploration and wonder about like. The environment and stuff. I suppose. See, mm -hmm. none of them have played ball. Let's try over here. I wonder. I, I. I am. I'm interested to see some screenshots of what goes on down these crevasses. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Particularly when you start getting herbivores down there. Wow, those guys grow quick. They were like super keen plants. You're still on time. Ex time acceleration one, right? No, no. Are you, are, yeah. Are you? Yeah, sorry. Yes, yeah, I see what I mean. Yeah, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. I haven't, I haven't cranked it up. That's why some of them are seed dragging quite a lot, yeah, uh, and others have just gone. Phew! And so, yeah. so you can like, you know, I'm sure there are players who will, who will set the objective themselves of just making this wall green, um, <laughs> yeah, and just like play around with that. Um, yeah. So yeah, I appreciate that. Like, I am a bit more target focused. Um, just to show, I suppose, showing you that as well. I suppose the idea is that, that everyone, if you are more target focused, this, it's a bit clearer now, I think. I think yeah. a complaint about the game previously was that people weren't sure what they had to do. Mm -hmm. um, and for people, oh, oh crap, they're on fire, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, that's yeah. nice for that card that comes up over the edge. Like, oh, no, yeah. um, so if you are more target focused, you, you've got things you can just. Yeah, you can focus target. On. I mean, to be fair, like these opening moves of the game, even if you are kind of like interested more in the genetics that we'll get to in a sec, you have to do this. You have to research some science. Um, you have to collect some biomass. You got so to do what, that like, stuff. Do you have so as you're playing this? Do you have a sense of what your overall goal is, or your goal is just I just want to get all these targets, I want to tick all these boxes? Um, <clears throat> not necessarily. Oh, uh, big news: science unlock. Um, just to answer that question quickly before moving on. Um, I suppose like initially it was because I was like, well, I just, you know, the game is telling me what to do, so I'm going to do it. Um, and then I've played through uh, enough times now to, to various points where I'm actually like, well, what I want to do each time is actually learn something different. 
um, yeah. about the game and the way that you do that is actually trying to understand how the genes work and, and what they're doing for you each time so mm -hmm. that's a perfect segue into my first science unlock so it tells you here it's, I've unlocked one plant gene so that's one available um, it tells you now now that you're starting to rack up the science that you've got 17 herbivores uh, genes to unlock and 20 carnivore genes to unlock um, so if I click this now to show that's unlocked it now tells me that I've got 11 more um, plant genes to unlock and, and I will have unlocked them all uh, and unlocking a plant gene was a key performance target so we're cracking along with those as well so now I go out, come out of the science tab and go into the genetics tab and what that brings up immediately is these three new boxes which I didn't have before on the left there um, custom plants, custom herbivores, custom carnivores so now I can start playing God, right? Like, and now I can start, or playing scientist, should it be? Um, yeah. Now I can yeah, start. That should definitely be that, what it is. That should be what it is. Uh, now I can start customizing my plants. So before I was just spamming random plants with no idea, like what what they were going to be like, right? What was going to be um, determining how these plants lived and died and bred and you know enjoyed life. So I'm going to click that, and that brings up this part of the genetics tab. Um, so you can see these are all the genes I've yet to unlock. So there's 11 more genes to unlock here on, on that screen. Um, and uh, the height is the one gene that I've unlocked. And now, thanks to the new g genetically modified update, I can slide to my heart content uh, up and down this height gene. Um, getting pretty, you know, to two decimal places, Sean. I think that's... that's, two, that's yeah, that's pretty that's, good. That's, I mean, you know, fair. Yeah, fairly. We thought about having like a text input, mm -hmm. but I, I think the sliders work a bit better because then also if you mouse over the plants that are in the world, yes, you'll see the things change on the right hand side. So, so this is the it almost is device. like an like a RPG type mm -hmm. thing. So that you know, I, I guess right. Like it's almost like a character creator. Yeah, yeah, that's not a bad way of thinking. But you can now kind of look at these. So these guys, that height is eight point eight two. And I scroll over to one of these stumpy ones. The gene is for that plant is height 6.26. Now it's important to realize that that's not tracking the height in the world, right? Yeah. Like that's tracking the gene. That's the gene, yeah. So the, the so one that, thing... So just before we move on, like yeah. that, those two stumpy plants there aren't at 6.4 height, but their gene is programmed at 6.4 height, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, and that's so like we did there there's a wiki so we made a, a guide that explains what every gene is uh -huh. if you don't want to try and figure that out yourself mm -hmm. but that a key thing is is like if you go into the steam forums there's people talking about what do all these genes do um yes yeah. so that's that's a, that's a thing and, and that's like again in in this update we've kind of tried to make things a bit less obtuse I guess mm -hmm, mm -hmm. would be a good way of describing it mm -hmm. um, yeah that's just give you that's... A, a greater sense of control and, and and giving that giving you that control in a way that's a, a bit more user friendly is certainly yeah. kind of how we've approached this update uh, mm -hmm. and hopefully that will be beneficial to new uh, ID players as well as existing um, ID players more experienced yeah. ID players so um, fortunately, even though I'm in my genetics tab, the game tells me uh, I have a science unlock um, and I've also met uh, one of my research targets, which is research a thousand plants. So I'm imagining those two. Yep. Boom. We're over a thousand plant science. We've unlocked. Next unlock is a little bit of a way away, but we've got one gene unlock available. So I'm going to click that to unlock it. Back to the genetics, back to custom plants. And now we have life expectancy. That seems pretty important, Sean. Life expectancy. Yeah, seems pretty yeah, significant I think so. for plants. Um, like those, <laughs> that was amazing. Those plants that have just all died out, pretty low on their life expectancy. Yeah, <laughs> funny that. <laughs> yeah, it's as if that's, um, it's that's almost a thing. like we've made our first like discovery there, right? You, yeah. Do I do I shout Eureka at this point, or is that a little bit later? Um, this is when you get out of the bath and run around. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. life expectancy impact on a plant's life expectancy. Uh, yeah. Shock. Horror. So um, I can slide that way up compared to a lot of the inspected plants here. A lot of them were really not expecting to live very long. Um, now, 
I don't know as a budding scientist or eco engineer, whatever you want to call me, gardener, um, is if life expectancy is as good as I assume it is in terms of what I want for my plants. You yeah. Know? Is that, I'm is go that put my dog into another room before I get <laughs> no worries. Um, so I'm just gonna say yes, like I want life expectancy. I want plants that are gonna live long, uh, I want them to be really tall. That's my first custom plant. So now Instead of just spamming random plants, um, I'm going to put some custom plants around this collector because this collector at the moment is collecting, well, it's still collecting 2.2. Uh, I'm not quite sure why that is. I think that's going to go down quite quickly. Um, but if I spam, or should I spawn these custom plants around it? Hope that the wind is a little bit kind. Maybe put some, where is the wind going? seem to be falling pretty close to that collector. Let's put one on top, literally on top, there we go. Um, so these are tall, they're life expensive. I have no idea what their other genes are doing at this point. Until I unlock them, uh, they could be genetically set up to die very, like through fire uh, immediately. I have no idea. All I know is that they're gonna be tall and if all things are, you know, created equal, their life expectancy is going to be very, very high. They could have terrible, like, um, metabolisms or kind of maybe they don't take on, you know, nutrients very well or all the other kind of things that might be in these science unlocks. Um, but there we are. Until I know more, this is all I've got to work with. And those are my custom plants. I can, although I'm not, oh, we've got fire going on over here. That's not good. That's near my research station. Um, that's key research plants, but aha, I can upgrade my research station. So let's do that. Hopefully, that gives it a bit more, yeah, a bit more radius there. So that's fine. Another science unlocks. So, interesting thing about this game, or one of, one of the many interesting things about this game, is how like involved you want to be with um, how it ticks along. So, you can leave this game, you can get up, you can kind of go make a cup of tea, go answer the phone. Um, go put your dog into a different room as Sean has done and the game just kind of ticks along it's you're missing out on stuff potentially you know you're moving up biomass science locks and locks are happening but it's not like they're gone if you miss that timing so it's re it is designed as um, a game that you can run in the background while you're you know doing your emails or um, you know uh, Maybe even playing another game, um, if your computer can... Playing another game? I know, that's, that's, time playing a, that seems game. a bit ridiculous, I know. But, uh, you know, you can kind of have it chugging along in the background and, um, you know, still be doing the things that you want to do, uh, still testing out the environments. You know, maybe you want to crank up the time acceleration, um, but, uh, you know, it's, it's something you don't necessarily have to be micromanaging all the time. There's no like marauding hordes of enemies that are going to come in and just destroy all your plants. They might die of their own accord, but, you know, it's, it, it doesn't feel like you, you will have missed it, so that's your fault kind of thing. Um, so my plants that I planted here that are really tall and life expectant, um, they're not getting very tall. So there's something else going on in their genes that's stopping them Holy growing. Holy crap, did you spawn some with like 5,000, 50,000? Life, life expectancy. Yeah, why wouldn't you crank that to the max? I mean, you you know, there, uh, there might well be a reason why you wouldn't. Oh, do that. Did, are they giving off seeds? Is, they're giving off seeds already, though, yes. right? Yeah. Yeah. So that's so interesting. That's, mm. that's, that's interesting. That's, gonna be inter that's an interesting direction. Is it interesting? I don't know. Um, interesting to me. Interesting to someone who maybe perhaps knows a little bit more. Some of them I, are burning up here, so that's bad news. Um, but the re as long as that doesn't spread to the rest of them. Um, so my research station is kind of anyway. Research station, can I upgrade that? Not yet. Right, I've got a science unlock available. That's important to keep on top of this a little bit if you are kind of involved in managing your um, plants a little bit rather than just um, sitting back. Have you shown them the graphs? We ha Oh God, we haven't even got to graphs yet. Okay, uh, right, let me, just t let me just see what my unlock is. Absorption rate. Okay, so I, you know, the English student inside me says that's probably about how plants absorb nutrients from this ice planet uh, and if they do it better 
they will grow better. Better. Uh, that sounds, that sounds like logic. Sounds like logic, sounds like words. So I have no idea, like, do I want now? So now I can say, well, my life expectantly high plants, let's crank them up to, so that the absorption rate is max. And uh, I'm not going to put them over here because I want to be able to see uh, a slight difference. So what I'm going to do is go, I'm going to come sliding all the way over to my plateau here, which has been spawned with a couple of random plants as well. But I'm going to pop these over here and see if I can notice any difference in their behaviors um, with the random plants. Now, Sean, I know you're about to jump on me because you're a scientist and say, wait, you've got 10 or 9 uh, uh, complete unknown variables there. How can you call um, this an experiment? Um, no, like I, I am all for having experiments with unknown variables. Okay. Like that's that's how it works. But this many is this fair? Like if I, I well, my conclusions I about these plants. <laughs> I was more going to question that that so far you're just putting everything to max. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, like how else are you going to learn if the, like some you know if you, if I put it to like four? I mean, you know, initially yeah, that is. doesn't tell me much, does it? That just tells no, me what. Space. Yeah. You know, I want to ma min max it and then you know find probably find like you say a oh, common ground. Like, is, that, is that your kind of big life expectancy plants were on fire? Yeah. So mm -hmm. all of them, almost all of them are on fire now. Yeah. So that's a bummer. That might, but I mean, you know, I don't have the information to know. Is that because I cranked life expectancy up to five or five, whatever, it's fifty thousand, or not? So I have to, I have to think about that, don't I? Mm, yeah. Morning okay. haystack. Okay. So, um, now, grass. Okay. Haystack, you came in just for the point of the excitement that is graphical data. So, uh, we have four graphs. We've got plant population. Okay. And you can see that nicely rising there. That's probably good. Good thing to have that uh, not falling off a cliff. Herbivore and carnivore population. Well, I haven't spawned any of those yet. Um, so, we are flatlining that. Uh, my score going in the right direction, perhaps not as, as quickly as it needs to be. Um, and then this mess of junk over here is wind speed, humidity and temperature. Um, Sean, do you want to talk about wind speed, humidity and temperature? Um, so the wind speed is how fast the wind is. Good, yeah. Um, the humidity is how humid it is. And the temperature is how hot or cold it is. But they all have effects. So the, we the, wind, the wind speed. So like, well, if you, as we've been seeing, if you, mm -hmm. if you create some plants. Uh -huh. well, let's um, just spawn a random plant over here. Just yeah, so you, you'll you see. Um, uh, well, they're, they're being blown by the wind. OK, yeah, look, look and at so, them go. Yeah, like, and then I don't know if it's um, that's quite low. So the wind speed there is down is kind of down here in like the point point three point four. So that didn't seem to be pushing them too far. Yeah. So if you if you so, gone. It, yeah. So like depending on the wind speed, they're going to be able to get further away from the other from where they're spawned. Mm -hmm. So like I don't know if it's been clear to people watching, but the plants themselves are spawning seeds too. So we saw that one at the start of the stream, right? You you yeah. showed that one with the, where there was on fire. Yeah. Um, so and if there's more wind, they can get further away, and that will affect like how they survive. Like I would assume. How they spread, wouldn't right? You? Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. Then humidity is humidity, which is how much water there is around, um, and that changes. And the temperature is the temperature, and it affects the fire. So if a higher temperature is more likely to be a fire. So I just well yeah. While you were explaining that, Sean, I just spawned a bunch of my custom plants here, um, mm -hmm. which were um, the cranked up to max plants, let's call them that. And uh, I was trying to make make use of the low wind speed to surround this research station with some more plants. But they went flying off all over the place. Let's see if we can do that again. Um, so there's something else going on with that. That's not, look at them! Look at them go! Look at them go! That's not just wind speed. That something else is going on there. We'll have to find out more, perhaps, to see what exactly is making that. Even though the wind speed is quite low, they're all 
behaving slightly differently. They, they, they're flying off. I want them around here. So, I mean, another thing to do is just kind of, right, well, if the wind's in this direction, I can maybe just spawn them here if I'm on the right tab. Spawn here, custom plants. Bop, 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 bop. And then hopefully the wind hasn't changed direction in the 10 seconds that I've been talking. You've got a science unlock. I know, I do, but I'm, I'm, I'm being scientific right now. Um, Think of how much more science... You could be 25% more, more scientific. 25% more science unlock. That does sound like a lot more science. Um, so that didn't necessarily work. Um, I think it's fair to say it's quite hard to be, like... That's why these get quite big, these radiuses, and, and, and the fact that they can spawn it, themselves out as well. Right? Life so. finds a way. Life finds. <laughs> wow, I can't believe it. How, how far into the stream are we before you managed to say that? Um, it's like 15, it's 20, 20 minutes. minutes 20 minutes. That's, into the stream. That's very interesting. Reference. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, and that specific reference as well. Right, anyway, science unlock. Let's see. Right, so I've got two available. Yeah, and look at how much biomass you've got. Okay. I've got this. See, the more you talk, the more you faff around with other things, the game just kind of, again, slowly trickles on, keeps going, lets you kind of Ooh, reward you for being one. here. So, yeah, I've got a bonus unlock. So let's just unlock some plant genes first. So those two are done. I've got seven um, um, to unlock, and we can go and have a look at them in a moment. But as Sean says, the game, it gives you these bonus science unlocks. Okay, so bonus unlocks um, to potentially... You know, so you can use them on anything, and that's super exciting, right? Because at the moment, I haven't even spawned a herbivore, right? But I can unlock a herbivore gene. Yeah. So I am learning somehow through bonus science. <laughs> through, through, <laughs> through the power of science. <laughs> through just the sheer knowledge that you accumulate when you're a scientist um, uh, about herbivores without having even seen one on my ice planet. So. Um, what's first? What's first? What's first? Should we uh, look at the herbivore gene? Because that'd be nice and quick. Um, so, talk about quick. Max speed is uh, the first. Herbivore. I have a prediction. I yeah. have a prediction of how you're going to set that. Kajunk! Yeah, why would you not like go straight for the max speed? It's called max speed. Why would you not put that on max? So, um,. Obviously, I have no idea what these herbivores are going to be like. So we could put them on max speed, and they could be like elephants, right? They could be just like the max speed of an elephant is, ah, you know, still quite well. Actually, the elephants are quite quick, relatively speaking. Um, something really slow and big. They could be really slow and big, but kind of the biggest slow and big thing that they can be. Um, so uh, I have no idea what these are going to look like. I'm also scared of herbivores eating all my plants all my plants that are gaining resources here. So I have an interesting conundrum. Do I spawn some herbivores near this research station so I can get more science from them? Because as you can see, if I uh, look at my uh, research station. Also, her herbivores move. Yeah, they quite, quite, but you can control that, which we'll look at in a mo. Um, so I'm getting plant science, but I'm not getting herbivore science because there's no herbivores here. Um, there are plants here which obviously herbivores like to eat so that could encourage them to stick around but as Sean said they could just you know bugger off over here right like they could just go head out here and say look these are juicier plants I'm gonna go eat them so they can be a bit tricksy to uh, spawn over here and if they even worse if they eat all my plants around here I would stop getting plant science so what I'm gonna do set up a new ecosystem or a new managed ecosystem over here. And I'm going to do two things. I'm going to do one thing, I'm going to spawn some herbivores, because I've got plants here. Let's see if they can eat them. So that's one of my performance targets, is create a herbivore species, so that's done. The other thing I'm going to do, because I've got plenty of biomass, is create a research station. Okay, create it, let's create it right about here. Okay. So that's the second research station. The game wants me to build three research stations for my performance targets anyway, so I'm, I'm moving towards that. So I'm hoping Therefore, that if I got the spare biomass, so I'm going to upgrade this as well. Right. We've got, whoa, look at them go. They are quick herbivores. Those are my herbivores. Look at them speed around from plant to plant, presumably eating. Um, 
Boy, are um, they quick. Let's get rid of this. Um, look at them go. Look, they're like ice skaters. They can't even stay still. Well, that, no, might, they stop. that might be a problem. Presumably, um, if they want to eat, they will stop. <laughs> you would you would hope, like... Well, like, you, you, how you've clever are these herbivores? You've only set the um, speed. For all you know, they're blind. Oh, dear. Oh, no. That um, could be a problem. Well, so, yeah. that would be a problem. I mean... That doesn't seem like a good evolutionary trait, short. Well, I don't. Uh, I, I, you created them. I did. I did. I'm sorry. They're like children. They're my children, and I've potentially ruined them without realizing. So uh, let's upgrade this quickly, so that we can continue to learn from our mistakes, um, and perhaps produce better children in the future. Um, so yeah, they are spending a fair about amount of time in my circles. I'm hoping. Let's have a look. Hoping that's cranking out some herbivore science. There we go. Okay, stop and eat. Stop and eat. Chillax. Just because you've got all that speed doesn't mean you need to use it. Okay, so I have more science, Sean. More science. Awesome. Okay. More science is good. So another plant gene, and I'm going to crack my bonus science on the herbivores as well. So, so it's start. I mean, I haven't even put time acceleration on, and it's starting to become perhaps a little bit harder to manage all the things that are going on in my environment because i've got like all these i haven't even talked about i haven't even looked at well these. your environment is kind of okay right well yeah i mean it doesn't need me in that sense it's it, it does it seem to, like if you look at the graphs does it has it been growing on its own well apart from whoa slightly awkward herbivore um looking graph but yeah otherwise my plant population <laughs> is one poor herbivore left <laughs> I don't think that one's going to be able to reproduce. Well, could that be a gene? Is it that it's it's the it's the one herbivore that stopped long enough to eat? Yeah, you know absolutely. that's <laughs> that's, uh, that's that's intelligence of work people. The the Darwin effect. But perhaps. the problem is, like they yeah, that yeah. there's no female or male. Like you you need two. <laughs> you need it two. Just stops on the side. <laughs> just, like it, it is that depressed? I mean do, like, do you think he's lonely? Look at it. Look like take some oh, time she. and like look at this yeah. person this herbivore does not look happy. Well I mean you know graphically it's a bit hard to tell. I mean he could just be munching away there. Delighted. Or it could be stuck. He <laughs> <laughs> could be stuck. Okay, I hadn't considered that. Alright. Uh Okay, well, you know, but, uh, you know, our herbivore population is flattening out. That's something. Mm -hmm. um, so, right, I've got science. I've got science. So much science. Five. No, that's fine. It's another bonus. So, like, let's do some plant. No, no, herbivore. I've got, let's just, I'm like a kid in a candy store. I don't know what to do. Um, um, uh, apologies for breaking the fourth wall, but um, is that chat app you got on your phone working? I'm just interested to know if it. I'm just interested to know. Okay, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Um, so we're, we're using uh, Restream for like we've been experimenting with that and so in, in theory you should be able to look at chat on different things at the moment I'm in like the chat of everything yeah <laughs> and trying to keep an eye on things no I mean it, it just it no it's not like put put bluntly it's not working okay now let me check on my desktop let me check on my desktop in a sec Yeah. Okay. So, so like I can see uh, Haystacks chat um, on YouTube on my restream chat, but I can't cool. see it on my phone. So okay, that that's good to know. Um, okay. Back to science, back. Sean. Yeah, back, back to, to science. science. So there's, I just saw a bunch of seeds just kind of fly off from these plants. Oh, these, maybe these. They're going wild. Seeds going wild. Okay, well, good, because um, I'm going to eat those seeds now. I'm going to eat those seeds, and I'm going to eat them with more science. Let's have a look. More science? No, that's just another plant gene. Okay, I'm over plant genes right now. Let's. So I've got cohesion and turning speed. So I think we both agree that max speed might not be the most desirable thing in a herbivore. Like, um. it would... They were too busy having a wonderful time speeding well, around and then we they did, died. But remember, you could only control that gene. Yeah. So maybe if you'd have created like five sets of herbivores with that, that might you might have got one that worked well. Right. But but I mean I can't confirm nor deny that. I don't know. That I mean that sounds plausible, but 
difficult to test, right? Like, yeah. like again, what are the conclusions you're reaching about that um, particular? Because you don't know enough. You don't know enough. You never yeah. know enough in, in terms of design. So I'm going to crank it down to 200. I'm going to let them turn a bit more quickly, which I'm assuming yeah. will be good, but I don't know. And I'm going to crank cohesion mm -hmm. right up to the top because I can't okay. have I can't create something that does you, you like yeah you want to have something that's got the best cohesion yeah like I but but I also feel my approach is that if you can max it you should try I think you either max from, you, you go min max right yeah. so if you think a thing is going to be good let's test it out by putting it on uh -huh. to the top if you think it's going to be bad let's put it down right to the bottom and see how that works yeah exactly so I can also see now that my lonely still is surviving herbivore is chomping away on stuff had no cohesion and quite a low turning speed yeah, so well, you know so. that that one sucked. So, oh no, but that one, well no, Th all this, of them this were the same genes. Yeah, 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 yeah. So right, let's pop some more out here. There we go. Your plants seem pretty stable. Like we're slowly kind of. Oh, I just saw fire actually. So <laughs> there is fire, but like our, my plants seem to be able to manage with a bit of fire, right? Like, yeah. like, like the real world. A little bit of fire never hurt anyone. Um, I don't think that's important. true. Is that not? Is that not a saying? Is that a saying? No. What is this, Sean? What? What's what? Let me this. wait a few seconds for, <laughs> to see what you're looking at. Um, I'm gonna guess what you're looking at and say that I don't know what that is. <laughs> what's that? I don't know. What is it saying? It looks like. Is it a spoiler? Am I giving spoilers away? No, you can. You can like read it. What's it say? Read out to me. I'm too busy looking at my plants. Is it, is it, where's it gone? Oh, there it is. Are we making a discovery? Go, did you, what? Um, I just saw your herbivores knock it over. Very interesting, but needs some polish. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Is that someone commenting on, on my environment perhaps? Right, anyway. Hmm. Intriguing. What's that? These are my herbivores. Look at them go. Look at them, look up. Why do they only eat one at a time, Sean? Like this guy, okay, what? this uh, this guy was the only one eating, and then this guy's the only one eating. And they then... evolved some kind of social order, I guess. Turn taking. They are British like herbivores. That's British herbivores. I do like. I mean, obviously, the 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 kind of behaviours that you see come from this. Like okay, the the graphics obviously are incredibly simple and abstract. But those behaviors are coming from really simple rules, uh -huh. um, which I think is like, for me, that's it's really rewarding to see that. Okay, well, just just them spinning around on the on the plane. Well, no, is that I, because I, their I saw, turning like, speed is higher than their max speed? Could be. So, but, like, so they're just like Whoa! It, was more, it was more the um, seeing them like almost taking in turns to eat to eat that plant. Okay, so you know what? There definitely isn't anything that I've written in about like if not your turn don't eat <laughs> right yeah. there's nothing in there that's doing that there's there's oh, a very are. complex system of, there's like lots of complex stuff yeah that together makes that appear like looks like that which is okay so what i'm gonna I'm do excited. is i'm excited don't take it away from me <laughs> no, no 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 i'm excited because i've decided what i'm going to call this plant so uh herbal or even so what we've what we've got and we haven't shown it yet for for newer players existing players will know this um, is you can actually save and load uh, gene sets, right? So I'm going to hit that button, save and load. So I'm going to call this British Herbies, okay? Because they're herbivores and they were uh, queuing. So that's what I've decided to call it. So that's my save new. Um, and then anytime, you know, I can mess with these, blah, 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 I can select British Herbies off this drop-down menu and hit load selected and boom, I have my custom herbivore back here. So I can start. I'm not sure if I want too many Brits in my environment. I think, you know, I don't want it becoming essentially the Costa del Sol of Ice Planet. So I think I'm going to leave these guys here and just see how they get on. Um, they don't There's seem some to be... plants there that are really firing seeds off, like... Yeah, these the guys are going direction. Nice. Mm -hmm. Like the opposite direction. If you t look away oh, there. from your, are they going that way? Where? 
Uh, I can't like I, <laughs> the, the lag on the stream. I can't tell you, but um, it's they were firing stuff off quite a long way. The seats seem to be traveling quite far. Okay, let's watch this. Have you, have you got like? Oh, there they go. Yeah, so that's kind. Of, yeah, that, that's from from here to here, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Right, science. More science unlocks. So I've got another plant gene. Uh, I've got another bonus gene. Let's crack open a herbivore. And let's have a look. So I think it's time to go back to the plants, Sean. Like back if my to the plants. Yeah, let's have my, have my herbivores died yet. No, they're doing... They're kind of okay. They're just doing this weird kind of... Oh, that's... Is that a pentagram, Sean? Is that, is that slightly satanic? Um... Again, I haven't coded anything like that in there. Are you that's sure? just happening. Then, like, it's, it's live on stream. That's a pentagram. Um, it's not anymore. But do we need to call the Pope? <laughs> what do you think he did? <laughs> just trying to imagine what the Pope would do. There's too many. Cool, we call, we call the game intelligent design, and then yeah. we, we shouldn't. Like, let's stay away we, from this. Let's thing. move away from this. Right. Okay. Yeah. So, right, the Brits are forming pentagrams. Um, right, so I want to do more plant uh, science and experiments, but I want to do it away from my British herbivores just in case they decide to eat my plants until I'm ready for them to eat it. So we're going to go to custom plants, and I now have I have. Ex oh, sorry. Go on. I, I have excellent news. Oh, yeah? My coffee just arrived. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that, I mean, that's like, that's going to double our um, kind of efficiency. Well, it's just coffee yeah. beans. I haven't actually brewed any. Oh. Well, that won't help. No. Right. So while while we've been messing around, like there's been a lot of biomass accumulating thanks to my two collectors. That's groovy. So I can just keep upgrading these two just to um, just to do that for a bit. But I also is it time to build a radar, Sean, so that I can actually? I think it's a fantastic time, to, a build time a to build a radar. So um, radars cost ten thousand with biomass. Yeah. So they're pretty, pretty pricey. You don't want to be building too many of them. Um, but they let you find new frontiers. So uh, I could either build a radar. So you can see what range it gives you okay, up here. So I can either build along here, and I think that will let me get up onto this big cliff mm -hmm. plateau up here. Or I can put a radar out here and that will give me access to this um, kind of mini I don't know what, yeah. plateau so for everyone who just joined the radar will um, change like you put the radars down and then that allows you to create things so mm -hmm. within that range yeah um, so Dave is just trying to expand his like field of influence my domain um, you know what let's go big or go home right like so I'm gonna pop in mm -hmm. that so that should give me access. Yes, it has. So you can see, I can now. I was just about to point at my screen. Um, I no, guess I you could see, you could see that. I suppose maybe. Um, so that would give me access to this bit here, which is groovy. Um, so more science unlocked. It's still going. You can't stop science, Sean. Once it's going. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so what do I want to do up here? Um, I want to build a research station because that's one of my key performance targets that's been going on for a while now so let's build a research so in, i'm gonna just make a point here that i don't think for the last 20 minutes you've even thought about your performance targets like you you've just no. got lost into messing around with genes yeah yeah and that's a good thing right? yeah oh that, yeah, that, yeah yeah right that's like that it's yes so i think that was kind of the point is those performance targets kind of bring you in if you're like oh what's this you know what do i have to do and then it's kind of getting you to give a crap about like the genes and stuff yeah yeah how how stuff's doing how things are working um <clears throat> yeah and i think like you know i think i think most people will if they if they get far enough into the game will start to generate weird uh, personal attachments to either types of plants or herbivores i think it's easier with herb look they're still going um so <laughs> that's so weird I'm going to screenshot that. Um, they're like, they're like pentagram pole dancers. That's what they are. Like they're just spinning around in a pentagram. Um, I might have to rename that species in the map. 
Uh, but then, but they, I won't be able to reproduce that, will I? That's the thing. I will, um, uh, eventually, I will. 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 So the pentagram was was like like losing its form then. Yeah, I know. Yeah, well, I think they've something, I think they've, they've, they've danced so much they're hungry. Um, mm -hmm. So three of them have stopped to eat. But that's it. Like you're like you're like you're like you're saying. Um, you know, if you get <laughs> if you had a weird weird imagination like me, then you start seeing things and kind of creating oh, emotional. They stop to eat. So they stop and eat. Like yeah, and, and then, then they, they get, get back, they, they get dancing dance. again. Yeah. <laughs> Life is uh, wonderful. So, genre. like, just a, like, a point. Like, if you if you pick this up, we really want to see screenshots because there's so much. Like, I cannot overstate or like how the range of behaviors you'll see mm -hmm. like that. And I, we don't have a clue what's going to happen, especially when you start messing around with the genes. Um, yep. like you get when you get the genetic un when you get the unlocks, there's. When you're playing the game normally, you create random stuff, and there's certain limits on the genes. But when you unlock genes, we get rid of those limits, so then you can start really messing with things. Mm -hmm. um, it's kind of like on No Man's Sky when you start going to the weird. There's like planets where they they they, they the kind of craziness slider. They pull it up to the uh, you know they they set it to eleven or something. Mm -hmm. um, we kind of do that there. But you've almost unlocked everything out of plants. So you I know. know. Well, like we've got root range efficiency. Do you want to go through them? Yeah, and... root range. So the new ones since uh, since we've been going. Root range efficiency, metabolism, competitiveness, maximum biomass, seed drag, reproduction rates, and then two unknowns. So uh, we know height fairly straightforward. What kind of maximum height will grow to? Absorption rate still feeling like that's probably good in terms of keeping the plants alive. Root mm -hmm. range, that's obviously the first of the new ones. So I'm guessing, okay, with my scientific guesstimation hat on, that that's going to have an effect on what can live nearby. Because roots, like if you're thinking about it like a big tree or a plant with a big root system, they don't necessarily play well with others. So like they're trying yeah. to, you know, get all the nutrients from the ground. Um, and they will be very competitive, which is a different thing. Efficiency, well, that could mean anything, couldn't it, really? Um, efficiency, I mean, almost efficiency could be like efficiency on all these things. Like, do they do these things efficiently? I have no idea what that means. Um, yeah. And couldn't, couldn't really say one way or the other. Um, competitiveness, again, I think that's possibly linked to something like the root range about making sure, um, you know, how these things uh, compete with each other, and um, you know, I mean, I'm sure that sometimes that's a good thing, isn't it? Sometimes that is like you want things uh, to be competitive because then you get the best species. That that is uh, that is Darwinism, right? That is survival of the fittest. So, I mean, the player in me wants no competitiveness, so that like they don't kind of. Uh, like damage each other as I build them or, or kill each other but maybe that's wrong maybe that's wrong um, um, hmm. I don't know interesting mm. uh, maximum biomass uh, is uh, I'm guessing like so if we go down here let's have a look at let's stop speculating and let's start science oh yeah you can look at them right I can ah. inspect them now but which one's easy. doing well? Like, there's, you've got some that seem to be doing quite well oh, you're, okay. you're, you're slowly your favourite <gasps> Yeah, you say that, you, you jinxed it, look. They're what? all on fire. I'm still waiting, like, again, give me the few seconds mm -hmm. so I can see this fire. Oh, they're crap. On fire. They're, <laughs> yeah. all, they're, they're all on fire. Yeah. Um, um, so. Well, so. You, it might be okay. So that, that might be... So I have seen things happen where you almost get, like, heath evolving. So mm -hmm. you'll get, like, the, the, a plant that will spread quite quickly, much quicker mm -hmm. than these ones are. Mm-hmm up to a point and then the fire will kind of burn it down and that will allow it to spread again spread again yeah so these guys these guys are fine like by the research station they're the ones that was like spewing out seeds i think um mm -hmm. so these guys so let, let's look at the the parent plants right that's probably the the, the, the the more useful thing so i'm inspecting them now so they're maximum height 
maximum life expectancy, maximum absorption rate. Those were the, the genes I set them up with, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and now you can see the new genes that I couldn't control at the time of spawning these plants um, are starting to deviate from like what I've got in my custom plant. Mm -hmm. uh, so root range is slightly under that. So, I mean, this won't have any eff effect on the inspected plant. So I can put that up to 37. And it, there's no correlation there. Don't, don't fall into that mistake. Um, so the root range is, is 9.5. The efficiency is 0.9. So that's high on that one. That's right near the top. Metabolism is really low. Competitiveness really low. Maximum biomass very low. Seed drag very low. And reproduction rate quite low. So that's kind of interesting. The reproduction rate is low. And yet we got the sense that they were, sport they were sending out seeds quite a lot. Hmm... That is a head scratcher. Uh, yeah. Observation versus known information. Mm. Well, I mean, like mm. those. That's just a number. It's not telling you if that number gets bigger. It doesn't tell you what happens when that number gets bigger or smaller. Well, These are I mean, just numbers. True, but we assume that, like, if we felt that a reproduction rate of seventy-seven point eight four was sending out a lot of seeds, then we would assume. Gone. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> if we if we're right in assuming that reproduction rate even affects seed production, kind of makes sense. But you know, you never know. There might be a whole seed production gene down here. Um, if we crank that up to five hundred, then you are looking at tons of seeds all the time. Are you compared to seven? Well, I don't know that uh, that 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 would be my assumption. That would be my assumption. Uh, even there's only though your one way to find out. Was not the same. My, obs my observation was what was your observation well my observation well I, it, it's your observation so don't pin this on me but the, uh, these guys were throwing out a lot of seeds and throwing them quite far okay okay yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do you know what I need to like I'm observing here I need to not affect the thing I'm observing Ooh, so okay interesting well maybe did you say they were throwing out a lot of seeds really far but not very many I don't know I don't know but they seem to be doing a lot of that um Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so what we're gonna do, because we still have so little information, really, so little knowledge, little cheeky seed over there, um, is go up to my new area, which I have a research station already and active, and I'm gonna create some custom plants with my new unlocked science. In fact, I have some more unlocks. It's just, it's just insatiable. This science stuff. So, what is, what is this last? penultimate seed efficiency mm. efficiency <coughs> efficiency is an interesting word isn't it um, <laughs> is it yes um, because in of itself like seed efficiency doesn't really tell me what that's doing does it it tells me that well it doesn't tell me anything like what is what is efficient about a seed I in don't know. this context I mean, I do, but you, well, you do know. But in in do. in the kind of like, yeah. Mm. 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 More questions than answers, I think, is fair to say of intelligent design. So uh, we're going to play around with it. So um, life expectancy. <clears throat> you know what? I don't want that that high. Uh, I want them to live fast, die young, leave a good-looking corpse. If only there was some way of caging off your plants. Yeah, but I've done that geographically. I know what you're getting at, but, uh, you know, give me a minute. Give me a minute, and we'll do that um, with that other thing over there. Um, so, absorption rate. Let's leave that. Let's leave that. Leave that at height. Something's got to remain constant, right? So, um, so, root range. I think that is not good for what we want. Uh, efficiency again it's an interesting word I have no idea what it means in this context so we're gonna leave that at max um, which is what I do for things either I, I understand or things I don't understand or think I understand uh, metabolism uh, it's kind of middle that because I think that's probably good but if it goes crazy no that's good that's why I want to live fast die young so let's crank metabolism up that's if you do have suggestions for Dave, then please let us know. <laughs> Start over. Uh, play a different game. 
figure something out. Uh, maximum biomass. Now, that's how chunky they are. Hmm. Let's let let's go big. Let's go, let's go really big on that. Seed drag. Um, hmm. I'm gonna put that in the middle because I think seed drag um, is how. Well, partly I think it's how slowly they come down, but also how susceptible they are to wind. Maybe is that fair to say? It's going to be interesting that mm. you mess with seed drag up there because they've got so fast a fall. Nah. Okay. Well, let's find that out then. Okay, reproduction rate. I want that high. I want them going nuts. And seed efficiency again. That e word. Um, let's 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 leave that max too. Okay. So I'm going to save this as live fast. Oh, you just unlocked a You might have unlocked right. the last thing. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, do I? Do, yeah, but does that change? Will that change my? Yeah, we're doing this pre-last one. Okay. 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 Don't, don't ask me why. Um. So. Uh, and then where we? Oh, it's our range, isn't it? Really yeah. Large. So my radar should be. Where's my radar? I built a radar. It's over here. So you build another one. Okay. If you want. I, I could, but that seems like that seems a bit cheap, doesn't it? That's, that's <laughs> Wait, no, <laughs> they're really expensive. But in in a sense that like this is my this, if I'd have been playing a bit quicker, I would have like managed okay. this a bit a bit better. Okay, here they are. your thoughts. Okay, so they that that they are going quite slowly, falling to the ground very slowly. They're not moving too much. So what I was slightly worried about was like they might just come off this cliff edge and just go over here, and my whole geographically isolating them wouldn't have they worked. They are at moving all. really slowly. They are moving really slowly. So sea drag seems like that would be it. But what's also the wind speed doing? Is there? Yeah. What is the wind speed like? Well, right wind now? wind speed is a like kind of. It's not as high as it has been, but. It's mm -hmm. it's around the average mark, I would have said. Um, okay, so this is close to like watching paint dry, like, but I, I'm also slightly intrigued um, by this. Uh, and I don't, I the thing is, I don't want to miss the point where they come down. So you don't want to use time acceleration. Hmm, this would be a good point to use time acceleration. Okay, so. Put down grass for a mo. Let's. By the time I get around to doing this, they'll be down there. So that's <laughs> see, that's, that's 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 acceleration level two. Okay, not that quick. So let's go to three. Okay. So I think we're safe in terms of where they're landing. Yeah, like they're not going off. Look at those big boys. Look at them. Right, we'll come down. We're going. We're going a bit too quickly. I want to. I want to revel in my my lily pad esque um, creations. They are rather big. Yes, they are I just, big. <laughs> <laughs> they are big, and you know why? I designed them that way. Were you expecting that? Yeah, I, I cranked the biomass right to the top. Is there like a seed still that has not got to the ground because it is on top of a plant? It it ha it was. I think it's just. Either it died or it's gone now. Again, tough break, but science. Um, so they're doing all right. They're doing pretty good. Like as like, they look like some kind of weird stone circle, don't they? Maybe, maybe my ancestors will find them thousands of years from now, fossilized on this ice planet. They seem to have gone into kind of almost a a nice circle around there, haven't they? Yeah, they have. But interestingly, that like obviously that's a lot more seeds that were spawned than uh, have like taken root. So obviously, when you spawn a group of seeds, it doesn't mean you're going to get that many plants. Like they will, you know, cause problems for each other, kind of thing. These guys have somehow managed to get along just fine. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. So I live fast, die young. Um, they don't seem to be doing either of those things. So, uh, that's interesting that I yeah. got that quite wrong. That, that, they is, seem that to just, is interesting. They seem to just be doing okay rather than living fast and or dying young. Um, 
Okay, so we'll leave them for a moment because I want to I want to check out something else, which is my herbivores, because I think I think I've only got three left, so I can't. The pentagram has been broken. So the British guys did not do well in the well, end. Well, I mean, but they didn't they didn't have any children. No, is that is that the definition of doing well? Um. Well, uh, I, I mean, like, I, I don't. This is too uh -huh. deep to talk about right now. <laughs> I, I, um, in this game, yes. In this game, yes. Okay. For herbivores, you need to breed. That's the deal. You need yeah, to eat and you need to breed. Yeah. Okay. So, is it my fault for not providing them good food? Is it my um, fault for not knowing what I was doing uh, when I created them? Um, I mean, like, it's is a combination it of all those Whoa, things, I, I would say. We have just left this alone and it has gone. And it's kind of gone nuts. So, so that fire helped, right? Because the fire burnt out a load of stuff, and then it's that's given it a chance to spread. What is down the? Go down, to, get down to the. I know, I am. With the caress. I am, I am. Okay, yeah. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, you're delayed. But yeah, yeah, wow, this is like a wall of stuff. Can you and put that... some herbivores down there. Yes, yes. So we'll call them the deep dwellers, because uh, basically I'm more interested in what I name things than the actual science behind them. So there we go. Uh, do we have a science unlock for herbivores before I go mad? Yes, we do. Cool. Okay. And then we'll get that last plot. So we, we've researched all plant genes, but I'm not even interested in that right now. I want to create some herbivores. Yeah. So custom herbivores. Right. We've got still quite a long way to go with herbivores. Mm -hmm. But we've got a few more things. So with the Brits, we were dealing with max speed, turning speed, and cohesion. And that somehow, man and the rest of the random ones somehow managed to create satanic british herbivores um who perhaps were pole dancers as well so uh cohesion and separation that seems to me to be too like i'm interested that we've got both a gene for those things because i would have thought if you crank cohesion right down to the bottom that would suggest that they would separate a lot but we don't we have two separate genes for that so that intrigues me from a word. So I view. wonder if the cohesion thing is what ended up giving you that pentagram thing. Yeah. Like, so if you put cohesion too high, they will just form shapes. <laughs> Isometric, well, you know, geometric shapes. That's, yeah. That's what's going to happen if you put I think, that too high. I think high. most shapes are geometric. Yeah, well, all right. I just wanted it to sound science-y. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Just threw an extra unnecessary word in there. Okay, so let's let's come down on that. Like, they, they, let's make that not a thing for this particular species of deep dwellers. They are not going to be as cohesive as the bricks. I just don't know what any of these mean. <laughs> like alignment. I mean, you know, is that like in a D and D sense that like some of them are going to be chaotic neutral, some of them are going to be chaotic evil, some of them are going to be lawful good. Is that is that what that that means? I can't I can't believe you would have done that. So I, I d yeah that that well who knows who knows who, know, who knows but I don't think so. So I'm not gonna I'm assuming that's not right. I'm guessing because they've got a pointy end. The herbivores, I'm guessing that that actually means uh, how good they are at lining up with plants to eat them. Mm -hmm. Okay, pointy pointy herbivores alignment plants shapes it all kind of makes a kind of sense so as ever crank it up to the max see what that does separation and cohesion i'm just you know what i'm, I'm going to put them both at the, roughly the same i'm going to be both at half and see you know if if that even interacts or cancels out or whatever obstacle avoidance is interesting like what what are they avoiding like plants but they eat plants you know, are they, is that like my obstacle avoidance? Um, can they not avoid plants, or is it purely for when we start having carnivores? Is a carnivore an obstacle? I don't know. I don't know what that means at all. So uh, I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to leave it there. That's what I'm going to do for this one. So I'm going to save these as my deep dwellers, so I can come back to them if I want. And we're going to spawn. Now, last time we only did one set, right? So what I'm going to do, because you're right, there's too many variables here as well. We're going to spawn some multiple sets. We're going to spawn quite far away from each other. Out of range. Ah, oh, it's out of range. 
Out of range. What is my range? Out I don't want to have to range. go up. There we go. That's roughly about my range. So, and then we're going to go all the way over here because I think this is this would be some interesting space for these car herbivores as well. So hopefully they won't be competing with each other um, too much. Let's go have a look down here. Okay, look at them go. So it's almost like, like a, a kind of one D world down here. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to see if I can spot one. There you go. So he's got all those that I set, obviously, and I can't see anymore. So that's completely pointless, me inspecting them. Um, but they felt like they were going quite quickly. I wonder if it's because it's a small space that makes them feel like they're quite quick. So they're spinning around. Those are going crazy. They're eating. These guys, these guys look smaller. Key observation they are smaller than those guys. Um, they look well aligned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but they, yes. We don't think they, these guys are evil and these are lawful good, and they might have problems later on. Um, but let's go have a look at our third, third set of herbivores in our deep dwelling mission. These guys are these guys are off. They are going. Oh no! no they decided. What are these guys even doing? What do they want, Sean? They've lined up. Why have they, they, li why have they lined up? <laughs> well, yeah. Presumably they've, they've had... The, yeah, they're, that's that's interesting. They were never supposed to be down here. Maybe that's it. They're Maybe, queuing. They're, like, Maybe they're the British <laughs> ones. I, I... Can't escape. Can't escape the British nationality. Oh, they bred. Did they just bre They're breeding. Maybe that's why they were lining up. Maybe it was Maybe some kind of sorry. mating ritual. Re like... Is is it? Does it say you've in the herbivore generation? Is that number gone up? Oh, they've they've laid eggs. Yeah, you're yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, definitely, oh, definitely. So like, you've got bad news. <laughs> no. Oh no. They're, they're, well, four of them laid an egg. Yeah. So that means you have four females and one male. Sweet. <laughs> I don't know if that is sweet. Um, it's on fire. Yeah, that. But surely that's sweet. That's a way. That's a way to generate a population, Sean. Where have they gone though? Where have they gone? If they all died. They, they might. Well, I think you've had one was born. The egg. Well, back six seconds ago. Yeah. One was born. You, you just saw the egg. Go, oh, I, did, I wasn't even there for the birth. Where are the rest? Uh, I've got two eggs sat here on screen. Did they just? Did they have a? Ch they had one. They had children. Ran off to die somewhere. Is that what's I, going I on? I think so. God, they're how like mayflies. They, how are they even? Oh no! Like they can't. Is that one? Yeah, he's just like. Is that the male? Is that the male? Like I've, I've done my job. I'm just going to go sit here and contemplate my my life, my errors. I was never meant to be a parent. I mean, I don't know where the females have gone. Like they have gotten out of dodge. They're like this guy is. Maybe this guy had bad breath or something. Like they are nowhere to be found. Are you sure you saw an egg? Like, <laughs> this guy just yeah, I saw an egg. I saw, like, you've got now two. Like, now you, the two, two herbivores have been born. Huh. Where are they going? Like, where's that male going? I don't know. Has he found food? Has he found life better, better life elsewhere? Is he climbing? He's climbing. <laughs> hey, buddy, you're not going to get up there. That's like, this is like a, si a serious distance. They don't want to be down here, Sean. No. These guys do not want to be down here. Would okay. you want to be down there? Well, it's not that bad. No. That is that. So is that, and that's, that's not an egg. That's a live herbivore that's been, these eggs are taking forever to hatch. Maybe they will never hatch. Maybe they were like still born eggs. What's the scientific word for that, Sean? Uh, if still, what, say, say that again? Still born eggs. <laughs> Uh, they're yeah. unfertilized. Unfertilized. There we go. Yeah. That one. Oh no! There he goes. Moving. There right? he goes. Yeah, yeah. In six seconds, you will see him be born. Yeah. And he went straight for food. Good that. So yeah. Good apparently, I, I because uh, my wife is a zoologist. She's oh. told me that I, I got this wrong. Okay. But good. The, the, the females lay eggs, and then the males have to fertilize those unfertilized eggs outside. Yes. Okay. Um. Really? So that's what happens in this game. Uh, okay. So that. So we were just waiting for the male to. The male needed to go fertilize. Go fertilize some eggs. God. Yeah. So Look at that. You've got like down there is some serious herbivorage. Yeah, yeah. They are breeding. They are whizzing around. What about the others? Because this was just um, one set. I don't know. 
That I think that's the other one. God, they, the other ones have whizzing. got the other ones have got problems. I oh, know they, but they're breeding. They're breeding through their problems. Oh, so do we need to talk about fire and herbivores, Sean? Um, well, fire kills plants. Herbivores yeah. eat plants. Uh, fire kills herbivores. That's it, like, yeah, fire. Well, fire doesn't directly. That I wouldn't like to be around there. Yeah. Would you? Well, let's take a screenshot for posterity. It looks pretty um, good. Like, what if you zoom, go, like, go up and look down on the okay. grass from like above? Can you see the fire? I think I might have just accidentally created another random set of herbivores. <laughs> <laughs> Not random, my set. Yeah. Uh, so you know that will really help their situation. <laughs> so, well, you you want me to see how far the fire extends? Or well, it's pretty far. Well, just like looking, like I just thought it might look quite nice from above with all the fire. Um, nice, Sean. Nice. That's my herbivores you're talking about dying down there. It's not nice. It's a nice look. It's a disaster. So what are these? These guys. These guys have set too pretty quickly. Yeah. They're cracking on. I need a research station down here, Sean. Mhm. Mm well, that yeah. G yes. Because I need that. to know what these guys How much, are. You must have lots of money, right? I do have loads of money, so I'm just going to spam yeah. these now and just get like. Get this quite big. Um, just so you know, I've got about 10 15 minutes and I'm gonna have to you head have to off. Bounce. Okay, no um, worries. But it's up to you. I don't know what your plan is. Uh, I might I might crack on for a little bit longer than that, but yeah, I might. Cool. Uh, there's a danger that my tummy rumbling is gonna be heard on stream. Yeah, pretty uh, soon. My wife is on her way back from Cardiff and she's gone to a very nice bakery. Oh. And we have lots of baked goods on That's, the way. You can't that tell looks it. pretty just, cool in there. I just told you it? I'm hungry. Yeah. Uh, yes, it does. Um, mm -hmm. It does look pretty legit. Right. Mm, I'm just going to go I... release some biomass of my own. Go back. <laughs> Unnecessary. Right. I think I made some some herbivores over here though, didn't I? And like, where have they gone? Maybe they're done. Maybe they came back here. Maybe that was that. I had some little red ones. Ah, there they are. They don't seem to be doing too well. Get over, look, get over, eat those plants. Maybe being little down here is tough. It's tough. Right. Let's clear out some of these plants, but these guys hopefully are still eating. We have a science unlock. It's a herbology. And we have unlocked all the plants. So that's good. Right. Um, so, the genetics, custom herbivores. What does sense mean? What does sense mean? Uh, I'm going to look at some of the chat while, uh, while we're doing this. So, thanks. Okay, so I have no idea what sense does. I mean, is it common sense? Is it like sense detail? Is it it's another science unlock? This is herbivores. It's a bonus. That's not a herbivore. It's it's interesting Gosh, you're not it's... min maxing what? It's it's interesting that you're not min maxing your herbivores. Well, I have. I I put the alignment like max. I put the speed at max and realized the um. The folly of my eyes. Maybe I'm learning, Sean. Maybe that's what that is. Um, I, I don't know. I want it. Like it's probably an interesting way of going um, because you can definitely tell the difference between something that's got something max, max and min. And, yeah. I mean, to me, that yeah. that that would be how I did that. But like, I guess other people, clever individuals, will know that you don't need to max max speed for that to be a problem. Yeah, I've seen some really cool stuff. Screenshots on uh, Steam of people who have set up lots of radar stations with those force fields. You want me to talk about force fields? Yeah. Um, Let's that, talk about force fields. Uh, yes, I kind okay. of. That, that wasn't what I was going to say that anyway, but you know. Well, firstly, I'm checking in with my live fast die young, which are doing neither. Yeah. What's going on? <laughs> everything there. So, they so, are. Okay. Let's. So, I, I would say look at those plants that are spreading like anything. Mm -hmm. Compare the gene that you think controls that mm -hmm. to the gene gene of the one. That is definitely not doing that. Okay, so live fast, die young. Let's load that. So that's in that custom plant now. 
and then let's go look at the differences between that and the gorge plant which seems to have gone pretty nuts right that's pretty fair to say and is dying because of the fire I don't think you loaded that did I not load I think you clicked save I hope I didn't say click save load selected yeah. Yeah. Oh no, go. wait, it's right. Is it right? Yeah, because it's the max biomass is huge, right? Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah, that's right. So like compared to these guys down here. Okay. Which are all kinds of different crazy things, right? Like mm -hmm. they're not gonna yeah. look all the same. Um so this fellow. Yeah. So height, okay, same. Life expectancy, the these are long liver. So this was my th the this guys were my original kind of uh first three things at max right like, yeah so so they've is, done pretty well they yeah pff, yeah pretty well yes i would say so um so their root range is about the same as my live fast i am efficiency not far off metabolism is completely other end of the spectrum mm -hmm. mm. bit bit more competitiveness but not massive on that maximum biomass obviously very very different seed drag uh, lo much lower um, reproduction rate which I thought would be like the thing that meant my custom plants went mad is the opposite mm -hmm. seed efficiency and seed force not you know quite a bit different on the efficiency and about the same force so I, I uh, the only thing that really leaped out to me there well there's two things isn't there like there's there's um, the, the difference in metabolism and the difference mm -hmm. in life expectancy I would say there's another one isn't there what do you think what the biomass no okay so there's quite a few things one, on, it? yeah but there's like you, <laughs> your aim with one of them is you wanted reproduction rate to do a thing yeah and it didn't. And it didn't do that thing. No, it did the opposite. It did the opposite. So it's like a low reproduction rate better for reproducing. That sounds that's what like that's, that's what that's logic. suggesting. Yeah. I mean, but that sounds illogical to me in terms of like, if I want a high reproduction rate. Well, they're just names. So it's just saying that number affects the reproduction rate. It doesn't tell you if it's which way it affects it. Yeah, uh, Trixie. Trixie. Have my herbivores all died? Yes, they have all died. You know why? Um, you've got five left. Yeah, but four now because they've eaten. I'm assuming because they ate all the available plants. Yeah, and they can't climb up the walls. <laughs> but but there are plants over here, so they just haven't like they haven't tried, Sean. They haven't moved enough. Like there's a clump of them here. No, that's just one. Just like a clump. Um, and he's found some plants. So maybe 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 uh, they just you know they had a bad time with the fire. The plants are, are kind of recovering now, and maybe her, maybe the herbivores will recover too. But there's only four of them, so we better hope there's some male female pairage going on. Yeah, and um, that they know where each other is. Be <laughs> <laughs> the other thing. <laughs> like, can okay, interesting question. Can different groups of herbivores breed? Yes. Okay. So I just need to somehow play matchmaker, and I don't see any way of doing that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to load not British Herbies. They did not go well. So I'm going to load some Deep Dwellers, and we're going to try and help help out a little bit. It's been really interesting watching you play this. Like, we... I think that this is the way I hope a lot of people play it, is uh -huh. that you get lost. Like, you were just about to do something with plants and then you noticed hang on herbivores are doing something and now you, you're going to be doing something to do with herbivores for a bit and then maybe you'll forget even what you were going to do with the plants um, I, there's a lot going on isn't there when you try yeah, and you can't good, I think that's a good thing I think yeah. I think like that's there is it, like it's quite complicated like it's like there's a complex system but I think mm -hmm. What we've done with the update is made it much simpler for you to play with that system. Yeah, much much simpler that, for for people of my intelligence level to so to system play like, yeah, like play with that model yeah. or simulation. So it's yeah. like a simulation and look at it's there's quite a, I, yeah that one's 
really big compared to those other guys. <laughs> he is. Yeah, M me hoping those two species are going to breed seems well a, a little wishful. The egg. Don't forget the eggs. Like it's all the eggs. Yeah, um, but I mean, this thing would crush an egg from that thing, surely. Yeah. Oh shit. So one thing I have <laughs> I do all the time with this new update is I right click accidentally, and uh, now we have some more her herbivores coming down. Yeah. So uh, um, pro tips. Uh, be aware of your right click. It does stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. I'm gonna have to head off. Okay. Uh, well, now. that's that's a perhaps a good time uh, to end the stream then, uh, because you don't want to oh. see me try this alone. Um, <laughs> but we could like you should save this, right? I should. Well, yeah, of course I'll save this. Well, save it, yeah. But like we, we, we can maybe come back to this because we haven't even created any herb, uh, carnivores. Carnivores, yeah, it's very true, very true. And it's, it's an hour and a half. We've been streaming for an hour and a half. Maybe we've these guys are going to breed. Okay. Well, if you yeah. have a look before we before we go, can you yeah. have a look at your whole world? Like I'd like to see like a zoomed out Shh. picture. Yes. So we're coming um, out of the crevasse. And that's a week world. actually. That that might be maybe. I mean, you know, uh, if, we, if we have the time to, it'd be nice to kind of do a stream for a, a week in game guys, week. What the hell has gone on over here? Like, I'm like, give me just, a few seconds to. They're just like making making their oh, own wow. tracks. So that's way. So remember, the radar is what I can spawn. Like these yeah. guys have just gone. And they've like, actually started getting into that crevasse and up yeah, and over it. Yeah, they they That's have found new worlds. They are. What's off. happening to the big plateau? They don't like, need me. Is, uh, is right. the plateau done? How's things? the plateau worked out? Yeah, with my live fast die young big mamas. Yeah. Um, one of them. There was definitely one here that's died. Yeah. And then that one. I feel like there wasn't one there before. No, I did see a seed like. Um, um, I did see a, I did see a seed mm -hmm. slowly falling down, like when you were playing earlier. Yeah. When you, you were just kind of walking past. So I think they are slowly. Be interesting to put some herbivores up. Well, anyway, anyway, we, this is the thing. We're now going to get you know. The, okay. I think that's like there's the thing with this game is, like the graphics are abstract, those. right? The graphics are very mm -hmm. simple, but when you start to see the different behaviors that happen and mm -hmm. that's where the, it gets interesting what's that yeah. little black dot by one of the plants on the top of the plateau did you just look at that well it's another one of those things isn't it i don't Do you know want to read it read it read is it that, is that a good point play stream in the stream okay after reading i don't, well it depends it might say something horrible but <laughs> why would it say something horrible i don't know i can't remember what i wrote well i i, I mean <laughs> the messages write? that get sent from the void i don't know Ooh. Isn't it obsessions over score and leaderboards what got us into this situation in the first place? And we haven't even looked at the leaderboard. Yeah. What is a Deep. score? Okay. That's a good place to end the stream. Oh, that's a nice give... image as well. That's like thumbnail material, that one. Okay. Well, I was going to give us a little shot at the, at the world. Um, yeah. Thanks, well, everyone. Six, for... six seconds ago, it was a really good shot. <laughs> Don't end up. Yeah. Yeah, I'm thanks, glad everyone, for watching. Them. Uh, thanks um, everyone, yeah, and I uh, hope you enjoyed the stream and we'll continue to do a few more ID streams. Um, we'll get to carnivores, we'll continue playing around with this world and seeing what we can see about the new update and show you guys the new map and stuff. So thanks very much. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe on various platforms, whatever you're watching us on. Wishlist on Steam, ID's available, the update's available to play. Yeah, uh, and Check it out. Post us some screenshots of your stuff as well. When you create it, we'd love to see. There's so much stuff going on in this game. We'd love to see screenshots. Yeah, screenshots, screenshots, screenshots. So, you know, I'm going to screenshot that. There we go. Yeah. Cool. cool. All right. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Dave. Thanks, everyone.